it's nice seeing you today. And what we're going to dive in is, I like to call this visual a bit of like a, there's an artist called Safe Haven. I'll put their stuff up on the screen. But what we're diving in today is essentially taking a nice tech sci-fi design and then bring it into a 3D element. This is, you see a lot of very futuristic designs that involve a lot of jagged corners and just like very heavy straight cut edges. I'm going to bring that into 3D and I'm going to show you how to bring essentially any Figma design that you have into the 3D plane, give it a different type of material. It's super simple. Um, today I'm not going to really cover the Figma portion of it in terms of how I made the design, but I'm going to cover more of the transition so you can take your own design. Maybe I'll give you a bit of a preview or a template file that you can play with. But for now, let's dive right into Blender. And when I mean dive right into Blender, I mean diving right on into Figma. So we're going to be using Figma today. You can use either Figma or Illustrator. The main thing you should be concerned with is if the program can export into SVGs. So this is a vector based program only. I'm sorry if you're on Photoshop. I don't believe this will work, but if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me in the comments below. <clears throat> Diving in, the way you're going to want to set up your layout is like this. So you're going to have two elements. One element that's going to be pretty much flat. This is where you can have your JPEGs. You don't have to worry about it being SVG or anything like that. And then you're going to have another element that is protruded. So this is the 3D stuff. This is the stuff you want to give some depth. Uh, as you can see within my layout here, the 3D stuff is essentially all these gray boxes. Uh, I'll be exporting these. And essentially what's flat is I just simply grouped it and made it into a text frame where with that you could just export as PNG and then the container behind it we're going to go ahead and export these as SVG. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that to let you see kind of like my process here. So the container, export as SVG. Block one, block two, and block three. Export all as SVGs text frame export as PNG okay now we have everything we pretty much need for right now so let's move on into blender now that <clears throat> now that we're in blender there's a few things that we need to make sure that goes right so first to the everything we can chill out on EV here um, if you want you can use cycles I'm not gonna do cycles for the tutorial because I know majority of the users users people watching my tutorials you are not on the strongest of computers and maybe you just want something simple to do so once you have that set up go into preferences and pay attention to the add-ons section within the add-ons you're going to want to turn on svg uh import export scalable vector graphics once you have that you're chilling okay Now, at this stage, we're going to import our first SVG. So, import SVG, safe haven style, and container. Once you have that, you're going to see it's quite small. Let's go ahead and rotate 90 degrees, RX 90, press S, scale it up. Uh, what I like to do also is set origin, geometry to origin, so you get it centered. Bring it up a little bit, make it a little bigger. You can kind of see from here, we have a bit of our shape. Now, to make it 3D, I like to just go ahead and play with the geometry extrude. So, I'm going to go ahead and just extrude this just oh so tightly. So, hold shift and just click and drag. You can see we have our base shape. 
Now, what's the next step? So let's go ahead and vertical split. I'm making a horizontal split. Now the next step, what I like to do is now project the UV map uh, onto here. So go ahead and press head into edit mode. Let's go ahead and let's convert this geometry into a mesh. So that's one thing we need to do. So you could just go ahead and right click convert to mesh. From there, now you can kind of see we have a bit of a messy, messy one, but we have something working here. So hold tilde, go front. Now let's go ahead and open up our UV editor. Let's select the front of this. Actually, press A, select all, right click, unwrap UV faces. Okay, go back to front, select the front of this. Let's see, we have something going on here. Let's go into the shader editor. Press that X to erase that SVG material that comes by default. Press new. I'm going to click this as container. We're going to go ahead and let me just make this a little bigger so you can see. I'm going to press Control D. I mean Shift D. Duplicate the principal BSDF. Then we're going to we're going to bring over our image file. So. I have my here, text frame, drop it in. Let's go ahead and connect that to here. Let's bring in a mix shader. Now, we're gonna do a few things here. We're going to create essentially a bit of a mapping setup. So the way you do that is if you don't have, when you press control T, that doesn't come up what you're gonna do and then the preferences per usual install node wrangler so just type in node now what you're gonna do what we like to do here is just go ahead and I'll make the first so essentially what's going on sorry principle the first principle to BSDF is your container material and the second one is essentially that text frame so what you're going to do now as you can kind of see we have something set up with your uv unwrapped and still selected in terms of the front you're just going to go ahead and take it and scale it scale it up to the image and if everything is done correctly, your image should essentially match what you have. And if you don't want it to like clip and what, you see how it kind of duplicates here? Just go ahead and go left, select that, select it within your UV, drag it away. Go for your back. And what I'm doing is I'm holding tilde and just dragging it away. Uh -oh. Make sure it doesn't repeat, just clip it in your materials. It's like all the rest of our sides are good. The top is actually still a little wonky here. Let's look around. All right, so our UV mapping is practically done now. It's as simple as that, my friend. Now you can see we have everything kind of set up, but you're going to want to do, we want to make it kind of glow a little bit. So let's go ahead and connect the color to the emission within our text frame. Let's bring it up a little bit, maybe like by five. And what we could do is we could play a little bit now with the material. I'm not going to get too in depth with that when it comes down to um, setting this up in EV. So now that you have your kind of base 
UV layer. Let's go ahead and with our environment, let's just make sure it's pretty dark here. Now you're probably wondering like, okay, what about the other shapes? <laughs> what we're gonna do with the other shapes is pretty much the same thing. We just don't have to make much of a material around it unless you want to. So import SVG block one. It's a little smaller. Let's make sure we're slightly block one. Scale it up, IX 90. Object set origin, geometry to origin. And if you reference your Figma file, you can see just how things are going to be. And this one, honestly, you kind of have to eyeball. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and just like press G and X or G and Y, depending on the direction you need to head in. Import. To bring it out, scale it, object, set origin, geometry to origin, RX 90, reference Figma. Another import SVG. Set origin. Oops. X ninety. And you're gonna notice that all your geometry kind of here is flat. Same thing. Let's just extrude it a tad bit. Copy. Paste, copy, paste. Now all your materials in this, let's just go ahead and kill it. Select each one, give it a new, I'm gonna call it extruding. Faces. If you're using cycles, you can make this a nice glass. That's what I kind of had it set up as. Uh, let me go ahead with this one just like hmm. Make it just like a nice white glow. What I like to do from this point is just kind of some little touch ups. So go front, let's bring in a camera, shift A. Back a little bit. And you can move your camera by pressing Y. It's kind of bright actually. <laughs> Now, what I would do from this point is let's play with some composition effects what we, or animate. So to animate this, it's pretty simple actually. Take, we got a lot of different like collections now. So select all these and just parent them by holding shift and dragging in there. You can kind of see when we rotate, it'll rotate. Uh, simply just press N rotation on the Z axis, keyframe, move to the last frame, insert a keyframe, and around to 100, around 20, insert. Seventy, negative ten. All right. 
Once you have that set up, have a comp compositing, and you could just add in a few touch ups. So, <sighs> got a texture. Let's bring in a little bit of noise. Mix. Make sure it's just overlaying. Let's go into our render settings. We gotta render out one still image just to make sure this works. I'm gonna call it tutorial. We could do honestly. You could kill these elements. This element only really works really well within um, cycles. Is like glass, so I'm just gonna delete this for myself. Make sure I turn down the emission strength, and then let's head over to compositing once again. Let's render another image. And what what I like to do now is it's just like a complete black background. And it's some lens distortion, which makes it kind of cool. You could also add in a bit of like some value or better yet, some difference. I don't think we should add in too much difference. Some zooming out. And from here, pretty much what I like to do is just render it and we'll catch back back up. Alright, y'all. I know there was some hiccups here and there. Um, looking back at the whole project, if you're interested in rendering out in cycles, I definitely would recommend that in terms of like that glass kind of thing that I showed at the start but you got the gist of it you know how to pretty much the important part was UV mapping it when you got that with the SVD uh, honestly any shape is possible to create and you can just stack onto that so like always thank you so 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 much for tuning into the tutorials um, I hope to have a lot of other things coming to you guys soon. Um, just put in some new time my job. So I'll have a lot more free time. And um, it'll be the last time you see me. So peace out and have a great one.